Previously, I introduced the WAN 2.1 series models released by Alibaba's Tony Wanchong, claiming it to be the best open-source video generation model currently available. I've created quite a few stunning effects using the image-to-video generation model. Recently, another team from Alibaba, AI Platform, PAI, launched the WAN Fun series of models. Similar to their previous COG Video X Fun series, the WAN Fun series includes two models, NP and Control. The NP model is a text image to video model that unlocks resolution limitations, not restricted to 480p or 720p. It supports inputting both start and end images, offering practical first and last frame control. I've tested it quite a bit, and it performs consistently. In this video, I'll show you how to use this model step by step to achieve a blooming architecture effect. Now, about the control model. It uses a control video to guide the video generation process and supports various control conditions like canny, depth, pose, MLSD, or trajectory control. I'll demonstrate how to make a control video and apply it to video stylization. First, let's look at the released model files. Both NP and control models come in 1.3b and 14b versions. The 14b versions are large, but the community, notably Kajai and City96, has made and shared FP8 and GGUF quantized versions. I'll demonstrate the effects of different models, so you can choose the one that suits you best. After downloading, all models should be placed in the model slash diffusion underscore models directory. Let's get started. As of April 7, 2025, to use the WANFUN series without errors, you'll need to update ComfyUI to the latest nightly version. In ComfyUI Manager, select Nightly Version on the left and click Update ComfyUI. If your network connection to GitHub is smooth, it should be quick. Don't forget to restart afterward. If you're using your own ComfyUI setup, it's best to also update ComfyUI KJ nodes since many useful nodes were only recently added. Now that everything's ready, let's generate a video. We'll start with the WANFUN NP model which is compatible with all functions of the previous one 2.1 image to video model. I'll load a workflow I previously shared. Let's first examine the NP model's image to video performance. Compared with the old model, you can decide whether to keep or download just the new model. The original 14B model is huge, 32.8 gigabytes, and requires not only high VRAM but also preferably 32 gigabytes of system RAM. I'll demonstrate using the GUF Q6K version, which demands much fewer resources. I'll compare the quality later. VAE, Clip, and Clip Vision are set to local versions. The workflow is similar to before, mainly by adding a one fun and paint to video node to replace the one image to video node and reconnecting all lines. Don't forget to also feed the latent output into Enhance a Video. Delete any redundant nodes. Click Run. I kept the tcache parameters unchanged, referencing the 14BI2V model, which is the default for this workflow. Results came out in about 4 minutes. Let's preview it. The quality is decent, perhaps a bit rushed since it's only 33 frames. The character's hand appears blurry in the final frame, but overall quality is fine. An 81 frame version looks like this. Using the WAN 2.114 B480P image to video model's Q6K version with the same settings gives this result. Q6K is recommended. The full and FP8 versions of the WAN Fun NP model yield these results respectively. Although WAN 2.1 has both 480p and 720p models, both have 14b parameters, making them hard to use for many users. The new NP model comes in a lighter 1.3b version, let's test it out. Switching to the 3.13GB 1.3b model, not a GGUF model, requires a different load node. I referenced the 1.3b text to video models tcache parameters. No need to memorize them, just click the question mark for a detailed parameter chart. Other parameters remain unchanged. Click Run. 
The smaller model is much faster, sampling took just over 40 seconds. Let's preview the results. Two issues, one, the character isn't waving, and two, the smile is less appealing. I tried several seeds, but none showed the waving motion. I believe it's because the 1.3b model doesn't follow prompts as well as the 14b version. Still, the video quality is acceptable. As mentioned, MP supports different resolutions. Let's try a square video. Use a square image resized to 768 by 768 via the resize image node. No other changes needed. Click Run. No issues, though the smile is a bit exaggerated. Next, let's try generating a video from a start and end frame. Back in LTXV, I showed how to create a side profile silhouette of a woman in smoke. I'll reuse those images and modify this workflow to test Wanfun's performance. Copy the load and resize image nodes, swap in the new images. Both set to 480 by 832. And replace the prompt with the long one used in LTXV. Click Run. Oops, I forgot to connect the end frame. Cancel, connect it, and rerun. The size is smaller, so sampling took only 30 seconds. Fast. Let's preview. It looks great. Compared to the LTXV version, which one do you prefer? Using this feature, I'll show how to make an architecture bloom. Load a workflow using Flux Tools ControlNet LoRa for image generation. Use a high-res original image of a building, photo or generated. Either canny or depth for ControlNet is fine. I'll use the default depth LoRa. How to make it bloom? I found a LoRa, shared by Zilu AI, loaded it. Use the recommended prompt and clicked run. The AIO's depth preprocessor generates a depth map, which is fed to the sampler to produce this fairy tale like result. Due to ControlNet and LoRa effects, the image lacks detail. To improve video quality, let's fix it. If exact content isn't crucial, Use Flux to reverse generate a prompt and redraw it with lower denoising. Load a Flux based image generation workflow. Replace the load image node with ComfyUI's new load image. From Outputs, Node, it grabs the latest output folder image. If needed, click Refresh. I use Florence 2 from my Caption This plugin, it auto-downloads the model. This is a text-to-image workflow, but since we're redrawing, add a VAE encode node to replace empty latent. Change redraw strength from 1 to 0 0.3. Click Run. We get a new image clearer and more refined, with improved detail. Return to the Wan Fun Start Slash End Frame Workflow, replace the images. Set resolution to the smaller of the two, 1024 by 1360. My prompt habit is to describe only the transition, emphasizing gradual. It works well for various buildings. Click Run. Due to the higher resolution, sampling took 6 minutes. The building now wears a floral coat. 
However, the final frame in the output often lacks the quality of the input end frame. If none of the seeds satisfy you, use the provided nodes to replace the last frame with your chosen image. I will share the updated workflow with these nodes. Using the same process, I transformed other buildings, can you recognize them? You can even transform a bag. Using depth control net with my fuzzy toy Laura from the training tutorial, I made a cute plush toy version of the bag. Using both original and toy images as start slash end inputs at 1024 by 1024. I changed the prompt and clicked run. It turned out amusing. The toy emerges from the ground to replace the bag. I tried several seeds, some came from behind, some out of the bag. All transitions were smooth. That wraps up NP model features, very practical, right? Let's try the control model. The control model's main feature is taking a control condition video, lines, depth, pose, etc. to guide new video generation. The official examples use depth, which I'll demonstrate. Back to the depth control net workflow, load the example video and use its first frame to generate a girl image. Flux default characters are western looking. I loaded AW Portrait Laura by Dynamic Wong. When using two LORAS, reduce their weight slightly to avoid poor quality. I set both to 0 0.7. This LORA doesn't need trigger words. My prompt is simple, a pretty girl in the garden. Click Run. Not quite right. Face is frontal. But body is sideways inconsistent with the example video. That's a limitation of using only depth. Try again with a new seed. This one is great. To enhance clarity, use the redraw workflow again. Refresh load image from output. Click run. A clearer image with noticeable hair strand improvement appears. Load the prepared fun control workflow. The key node is one fun control to video, which requires a control video and optionally a start image, highly recommended. With a control video guiding direction, prompts are less critical. I usually briefly describe what happens or only describe the start image. Here I used a reverse generated prompt. Click run. Sampling took 3 minutes. Let's compare the result with the depth video and the official sample. This shows how control ensures consistent directional output across videos. We just used the official sample video. How to create our own control video. Create a new workflow. Load a video. I used a Sonic Made Music MV. Set frame underscore load underscore cap to 81 selecting the first 81 frames. Add an AIO AUX preprocessor using Depth Anything 2. Keep the default resolution of 512 for speed. Higher resolution or specific preprocessors yield finer results. In my Flux ControlNet video, I compared multiple depth processors. Finally, add a video combine node to merge the video. Keep FPS consistent with the input. Click Run. Got a depth control video in 30 plus seconds. Now add canny and post signals. Merge them using image blend into a single control video. I used canny edge and open pose, solid default choices. You can experiment. For facial precision, use DW pose. Pose takes longer, about 4 minutes.
we now have a triple signal control video. Back in the fun control workflow, use the MV's first frame and this control video to generate a new video. It's done. Compared to the original Sonic MV, the detail and clarity are notably better. But video stylization isn't just for replication. I swapped in a portrait style start frame. You can guess how it was made. Control Net plus Laura. It's large, so I added a node to resize while keeping proportions. Longest side is auto set to 512. Connected everything and clicked run. Smaller size equals faster run. The result is in. It follows the original video's motion but with its own unique style, video stylization made easy. To summarize the WANFUN models, new features like start slash end frames and control are practical. The 1.3B model offers decent performance with great value. However, when generating videos from text or images, its quality and prompt adherence are slightly weaker than 1.2.1. In native comfy UI, text to video, without a start underscore image, often fails, likely a bug. If you've got spare disk space, like me, keep 1.2.1. Model developers state that LORAS trained on 1.2.1 are not officially supported for one fun, however, some of them can still be used. CFG Zero Star and SLG, Skip Layer Guidance, should theoretically enhance video quality, but I found their effects limited or even detrimental, so they're not included in the default workflow. Feel free to try them yourself. Alright, that's it for today's video. See you next time.